Hello and welcome back to Yes Your Grace. Now, when we left off, we, uh, well, I gotta say, I feel like we're doing all right. Uh, those of you in the comments seem to think I made some good decisions in the previous episode, so I'm happy to hear that because, well, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm playing this blind. I, just, just a reminder on that. I am playing this blind. I have not seen any spoilers or anything like that, with the exception of any of you giving me hints or something like that. Anyway, let's have a look at what Audrey has to say here. Your Grace, we need to call the King's Summit soon. This will be our last chance to talk to them before the battle. If there is anything else you need to do to fulfill their requests, now will be the last chance. If you haven't spoken to Varid yet, you should invite him and let him know what your decision is about his offer. Thank you for letting me know, Audrey. Yes, King Varid is not getting anything from me. I'm pretty sure I would rather, I don't know, I, as a thing, I don't really want to lose against Ivo, but I don't want to marry off anyone to King Varid, let's just say that. So it's probably about time that we speak to Stan and see what he has to say. Your Grace, I have helped build a support under the muddy hill. There should be no more mudslides. Ah, there we go. Let me know if you need anything else. Okay, that's fantastic. So that is obviously going to be another village added to our uh, garrison, I guess. Anyway, Alina is here. Of course, we have told her that uh, she's not going to be paid this week, unfortunately. But uh, I kind of feel like if there is going to be something coming up, like, for example, some of the oils, you know, that we need for the ritual, then we're going to need to spend quite a bit of cash. Unless, maybe the, maybe it's not going to be that expensive, but I would expect it to be quite, quite a bit. So we'll see how that goes. You have called for me. Will you join my army? Will you join my army? I hope you will. I have just had a little baby I need to take care of. You helped me save the baby, Your Grace. Do you remember? I won't be much use, but I can send my husband. He is strong. He will help. Yes, that's exactly what I thought that the other guy would do. You know, the old guy with the, the back problem? I thought he, he might say to his village, Hey, uh, you know, the king is giving me one supply every single week, you know, so it might make sense to go and help him a little bit. But anyway, oh, here's the fortune teller. Oh, okay, so uh, how is she going to swindle me out of money today? My grace, I bring a special assortment for you today. It is my special collection of magical rocks and crystals. I have been gathering these for many years, yes. Some come from the local riverbanks, and some have been mined in the Grey Mountains. And I have a few extraordinary stone talismans from Kaladur. They are bound to bring you wealth, of course. If they feel your positive energy, that is. How will I know if it works? Well, they only work if you truly believe in it. Fine, show me what you have. <laughs> uh, this is not going to work out too well. They will look beautiful decorating your throne. Make your choice, my grace. You will not be disappointed. Right, okay, so... I... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> because here's the thing, I, I don't know whether it really has any effect. I think maybe just spending five gold on a stone of positivity might be quite nice, but uh, I don't want to spend 25 gold on the stone of wealth. But amusingly enough, I wouldn't be surprised if these things have a, a an actual effect, if you know what I mean. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually do something. Going to get the stone of positivity. I'll take the stone of positivity. That'll be five pieces of gold. Yes, I'm sure, even though I don't really want to give you any more gold than I already did. Yes. All right. Some call it solidified sunshine. It is believed it brings positivity and luck to your life. It draws pain from the physical and spiritual body and turns it into clear, positive thoughts. Right. I'm not going to be getting any anything else. I would assume that if you buy all of them, you're probably going to get something for it. I don't know what. Maybe it's just a, I don't know, maybe an achievement or something. But that's that's probably it, I guess. That'll be all. Thank you. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Yes, now here's the thing. I know that this guy's a merchant, so I'm thinking that maybe he's going to sell us some oils. Traveling merchant here, your grace. Balms, uh-huh, ointments, potions, whatever your royal soul may desire. Everything is five gold apiece. Five gold? Betony oil. That would be five pieces. Yes. Another betony oil. Don't I need two? Yes. Okay. Uh, what about other items? What else do you have? Uh, let's see some other items. What else? Oh, mugwort oil. He's got he's got that as well. 
everything is five gold. I'm really surprised that he has he has so much. Okay, can I sell some of this stuff? <laughs> uh, I think that's it. I think that's all I need. I need two betony oils, one mugwort oil, and I believe that's it. Right? Right? Uh, now I'm thinking that I'm gonna mess up here. Oh, okay, I think that's all. I think that is all. All right. Pretty happy with that. Really wish I could get rid of these needles and things. Anyway, hello, peasant. Your grace, there is something wrong with the horse keeper's boy. He twitches and jumps all the time. We thought it was because he was little and energetic, but now that he's grown, it's getting worse. On top of that, he doesn't know how to speak. He just mumbles things under his nose. We tried stopping him and teaching him, but he throws huge tantrums, punching everything in his way. We tried giving him healing herbs, and we pray for him every day, but nothing is helping. You know, I should have just, I should have bought the 25 gold stone of wealth. I think that probably would have been really good. But, yeah, hindsight, you know, I don't know how much the oils were going to cost. So, oh well, never mind. He has bad blood, your grace. He must be cleansed of the disease so he can live a normal life. Okay, I'll send the witch. I can't. Really wish I had the witch now. I'm not, I'm not going to, uh, I, I can't help. Very sorry. We have been very patient with him. His body might be taken over by a demon. What if it decides to take on another body? I thought we could count on your help. I guess we'll have to deal with this ourselves. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't do that, you know? You never know what is going to come to us and, uh, oh no, village is flooded. Our wood stocks, food supplies. It has gone, all gone with the river. We have no choice but to ask for your support. What is it that you need? I'm afraid we're dealing with a water monster here. A water sprite, if you like. We have the monster won't do much more damage, so for now we would just need some supplies. Sure. Why not? There we go. That should be enough. Let's hope the monster won't want any more. Alright, so, okay. Didn't gain any happiness from that. I've got to say, it's very fair. I don't know why, <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. Okay, so let's go to Aurelia and say that we actually did purchase some things about the ritual. Uh, other items. Okay, so I need basilisk egg. Apparently someone in the comments told me that Noxie might be, might be able to help me with that, so I personally I don't think he's going to be wanting to help, but I guess we'll try it. Okay, so I have the oils. I've got two betony oils and one mugwort oil, is this correct? Yes, sweetheart, that is correct. Uh, okay. Uh, so, can I drop these off with you, or... Oracle dust, also, yeah, can I, can I get rid of this somehow? Uh, maybe I can put these over here. Uh, well, she, she will, if you, I mean, I could just put them back, you know, I could just put them back. Uh, I, I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to pick up the book now, and a, because I have very limited inventory space. So, I could go to the council chamber. There might be a chest that I can use. This chest, nothing in here, just a pile of rubbish. Well, that's a bit problematic, isn't it? I'm actually unsure what I can then do. Because, ah, here it is. Performance of rituals, curses, and healing. Ah, okay, never mind. Apparently, it doesn't matter. Apparently, there is just a second page that I can do. Mm. Okay, fantastic. I was I was kind of worried, you know? I was kind of worried about that. Okay, so we have the book as well. So all I need now is the basilisk egg. And that means that I can uh, I can ask uh, Noxy about that, I suppose. So there we go, the book. I think this is the one. I have to say, this book doesn't sound very convincing. Ah, it's going to be fine. All you need to do is to remember the incantation. The rest you can ignore. All right. Okay, so all I need now is the egg. And that's easier said than done, let's face it. Because Noxy hates, well, hates my guts, not your guts, but hates my guts. So we're going to try and invite him. I personally don't think this is going to do anything, even though I, I wholeheartedly believe that that is the logical person to go to, because he is technically a person that deals with monsters and so on and so forth, or potentially deals with that. And so, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, map time. Map time. All right. Itching sickness. Okay, so we did help that guy. Going to send the general over there. And what else do we have? Fever in the village. Eight war. I think we did deal with that as well. So let's send the hunter over there. 
And that is that. Okay, fantastic. Okay, next week it is then. All right, so yeah, we're doing pretty well. 34 supplies, 34 gold, not too bad. And don't think I'm going to do anything else here. I think I'm going to keep everyone on the payroll at the moment because I now have the oils. So it's more than likely that I won't need any additional gold, maybe. And uh, mm, I, I guess, I guess. I mean, I'm, am, I, am I actually making money right now? I think I am because this is... Uh, what, what is it? What is this? 20, 30, 31. And I'm making 23, 28, 30. I'm making one per week, which is pretty terrible, isn't it? Uh, gonna say no to the hunter for this week and we'll keep the witch around. And then we will keep everyone on the payroll up until the battle. Grevno, week 44. All right, so there's Noxy again. Hopefully he's going to be a little bit more agreeable this time. Let's just say that. And there we go. They should be here shortly. They should be here shortly. Hello, Noxy. At your service, Your Grace. As you can see, I can't actually do anything with him. So I, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. I think I messed it up earlier on when I did not side with him. If I had sided with him earlier on in the, in the series, then he would have been more than happy to help us out, no doubt. But, uh, yeah, that has kind of completely screwed it up for me. So, we'll see. Maybe maybe this merchant... Uh, let me help you with your struggle. I have the be best prices. 28 gold for 22 supplies. I personally don't need anything like that, so uh, I'm perfectly fine to say no to this. I was actually thinking that this guy might have a basilisk egg for sale or something. Maybe one of these peasants might have a basilisk egg. It's highly unlikely, let's face it. Will you join my army? You were, the, you were the one who cured my sickness. You are the chosen one. If I must, I will give up my life to protect you and I'll bring my friends too. Be ready. The battle starts in six weeks. All right. Hello. What is going on, your grace? Okay, will you join my army? You helped me find that sneaky Eidwar. I've never had a problem with him since. I will help. I hope you'll rule for a long time, Your Grace. Okay, so he's joining as well. Fantastic. Your Grace, everyone is sick. People in my village, they can't stop coughing. They cough so much, they lose their breath and faint. They have fever and vomit too. And it's not just one or two people. It's the entire village. Only me and a couple of other people are still well. So they sent me to the king to beg for help. We think this disease is contagious. Oh dear. Everybody has closed themselves off in their homes and are not coming out. Oh wow, this is... Social commentary of, of sorts. <laughs> we have to do something, Your Grace, before this spreads further. Alright, so I'll send the witch, I guess. She will be able to heal at least some of you. Maybe she'll find out what's causing the disease. I just hope that she's careful and doesn't get herself uh, affected by it. Ugh, that would be pretty awful. Okay, so we gained more happiness. Personally, as I said, I don't really care about uh, happiness at this point. It doesn't really seem to make that much difference to my taxes anymore. So, we're just going to try and keep it over 100, I guess. Anyway, Your Grace, I'm sorry to bother you. I come from We True. As you know, we are holding the annual burning of Mazana. We know your resources are limited, but please, Your Grace, could you spare us some supplies? We always lose because our village is the poorest, but our children would love it if we won for once, and with you, we have a chance. I feel kind of bad for them. I didn't want to help the other people, but I, I, should I, should I help them? We have enough supplies, technically, in the stockpile for the battle, because you only need five. Five full full, full bags, or, or barrels, or whatever, so I'm going to say yeah. But please, keep rather quiet about it, otherwise the other villagers are going to be upset. Oh no! Oh dear. Well, I mean, they are the poorest village, I kind of wanted to be nice to them. Oh well, never mind. Okay, hello. Oh dear. Oh dear. Eric, King of Davern, your daughter Lorsuli was accused of treason, blasphemy, and witchcraft. Lorsuli plotted against her own husband, the King of Atana. Lorsuli committed the act of blasphemy by publicly criticizing God's work, the will of the church, and purposefully avoiding participation in ceremonial events. 
Finally, Lorsulia of Davern was found guilty of witchcraft, occult rituals, and potion brewing. She was also found guilty of helping the enemy by magically letting them win a battle through collapsing the mountains. Really? Come on now. Not without great grief, I feel obliged to inform you that after many long debates and attempts to expel the devil out of Lorsulia, it was deemed necessary to ultimately cleanse her body by flame and pray to God to forgive her soul. Ivo, the king of Atana. He, he, you know, he's going to get it. He's going to get it. Absolutely going to get it. Because he has literally just burnt her alive. It's not possible. Uh, it's more than possible. It's more than possible. Um, I, 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 oh, no, he's fainted again. I have a bad feeling that he's not even going to survive until the battle. Okay. Oh, why, oh, why, oh, why? Well, uh, yeah, you, we, we kind of know why. Eric, you're up. Oh, gods, I thought I'd lost you too. I'm here. I, I, I don't know what to say or, or what to do. Uh, Losulia gone. I hoped it was a nightmare. No holding back now. Uh, no holding back now. With Losulia gone, there's nothing to hold us back against him. We have to get ready for when the time comes. Ivor will pay for all he's done, threatening us, attacking us. Eric, please. No, no, no. He has to pay for this. I thought the Rodovians were a band of barbarians, but it turns out they were more civilized than the royal crown. We need to focus on the advancing army. We will retaliate, but it's not like we can chase after him. We have to wait for him to come. Will you please stop? Eric, our daughter is gone. Could you please think about her for a second? Forgive me, my love. I'm just filled with anger. How? How are you feeling? I'm, I'm trembling. I, I don't know how we can ever get past this. You have to tell the girls. I can't do it, Eric. So, they don't know yet? They... they probably know. You've missed some things when you fainted. They will let you know. I will talk to them, don't worry. Eric, your advisor took the letter. He said it's for the best. I haven't seen it all. You must tell me. How did she... D die? What did he do to her? You have to be honest with me. Eric, you mustn't lie to me. I need to know what happened to our daughter. Uh... Oh... Uh, she is in a fragile physical state because, of course, she is pregnant. So I don't want to cause her any undue stress, but she deserves to know the truth. But I don't want to tell her that. Uh, that is... I'm going to have to tell the truth about this. I have to tell the truth. She was... Ivo pronounced her a witch. Just tell me. He claims she was of a magical nature. Eric, be done with it already. She was burnt alive. Ah, oh yeah, she's not gonna, she's not taking this well, obviously. That's why the tiara, what? I, I... Oh, she's actually running out. Okay, well, I don't blame her. Absolutely do not blame her. Maybe I should have said it was painless. Should I have, should I have said it was painless? Ooh, maybe made a bad mistake there. But I wanted to be honest with her because well, maybe it was better to protect her in that case. Audrey, tell everyone there's no more hearings today. Tell them they can all go to hell. <laughs> uh, I hope they're holding up better than Aurelia. Yeah. Okay, let's go and speak to our daughters then, I suppose. That is... Uh, mm, that guy is going to get it. That guy is absolutely going to get it. All right. Your Grace? Your sister? Sadani? Father, what happened to our Luli? There was screaming, you were on the ground, and then Asalia told me to come back here and wait for you. She gave me Losulia's tiara. She said it came with the, with the letter. Luli, nev Luli never parted with it. It was her favorite. I wasn't even allowed to touch it. Please tell me Luli is all right. Father, please... Losuli is gone. I'm, I'm going to tell her the truth about this. Your sister is gone, Sidani. 
But I never let her know all about all the things that happened, all the agents. I was, I was supposed to tell her of all Asalia's secrets. How can I do that if she's not here? This isn't fair. You're right, it isn't fair. But there's nothing we can do about this now. You have to be strong, Sadani. We all do. I... I will, I will try, father. Oh, poor, poor Luli. Yeah, exactly. Ugh. What do I do with her tiara? You know what? Keep it. Well, Sulia would have wanted it. I will. Okay, yeah, she should definitely keep it. And she should wear it. Why not? I have to see mother. Tell her it's going to be alright. Sadani, so you're, you're very strong. We will get through this. Thank you, father. Okay, well... She's a tough one. Yeah, she certainly is. But obviously we didn't we didn't tell her how she died or anything like that. So I, I think it's okay. But uh, yeah, maybe I did make a mistake about telling uh, Aurelia about the means, shall we say. Yes, father. We need to talk. We need to talk as. Father? Uh, hugs? Go for it. I know. I guessed. Everyone rushed to help you when you fell off the throne. And then... I heard mother scream. Everyone did. I never heard her like this before. I've been told a letter arrived. I knew something must have must have happened to Luli. She's gone, isn't she? Oh, yes, she's gone. I I could have stopped this, you know. It's not your fault. You had no choice. Everyone knows this. Ivo is the only one responsible for all this. He needs to pay for it. Ah, I would tear out his guts if I only got a hold of him. It's not like he's any taller than me. I could easily get him. Ah, I'm so angry and sad. Feels like the whole world is spinning. Father, please tell me we will avenge her. I will do whatever is in my power. Absolutely. Ivo will regret this. I, if I if I have to send out King Eric himself and go for some fisty cuffs with Ivo and take him down, then that is exactly what I will do. I promise you, Asalia. Thank you, Father. All right. Uh, I will see how Mother is holding up. She's devastated. Everyone is. Yeah, please do. I think I think she needs all the uh, yeah she needs all the support that she can get. Oh, as I have no clue how we are going to do this, but we will. We will. Yeah, exactly. Let's employ some dark magic, shall we? No, I think we've had enough of that, haven't we? Alright, so we're back here. Hello, Audrey. Uh, I don't... I, there's no real need to speak to him, I suppose. Uh, any allies? No, not gonna help me at all there. Alright, so let's have a look at what's going on here. Flooded village, love problems, Baltis... Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Hmm... I I actually don't know. Double taxed was not able to help those people. I guess we'll yeah, I guess we'll just go like this and we'll just send uh, send the general off. And I think what I'm going to do in the upcoming weeks is I'm not going to send any of my NPCs off whatsoever and I'm just going to uh just going to keep them at the castle so that we can actually um, send them off to the villages and try and get as many people as possible. Aurelia, you're here. I... I don't know what to say. Does anyone know what to say in a situation like this? Can we just have a little silence? Just for one brief moment. It's alright, darling. You've been strong enough for all of us. That's some, uh, that's some pretty heavy stuff right there. And uh, if you didn't see on the screen, I did just get an achievement called Farewell, My Daughter. So yeah, that's very emotional, isn't it? Especially, uh, if, you're, especially if you're playing the game. I'm not sure if you're, you're going to feel the same thing, but that, that's exactly the reason why I would highly recommend checking it out 
that there is a link in the description to it as well because it is just such an incredible emotional experience and uh, might be something for you. Might be something for you. Anyway, if you decide to, then good luck. Hopefully you'll do better than me. And uh, otherwise, should I go for another little bit of this? I mean, we have one, two, three, four, five, six barrels of stuff. And we've got six weeks to go. So I think it should be all right to leave it as it is, I suppose. So, yeah, let's just continue onward. Grevno, week 45. I'm not sure if it was a good idea to get out of the bed today. I don't think I'm ready to deal with this. All right, well, what do we, who do we have? Oh, we've got a bunch of peasants. Bunch of peasants coming. All right, I've told the villagers you wanted to see them regarding the call to arms. They should be here shortly. Hello, peasant. Okay, will you join my army? I did say we were forever indebted when you helped us. We have rebuilt the entire village after the fires. You can count on our help. All right, so that's great. Let's see. We have heard about the princess, your grace. My heart goes out to you. Oh, did she have a knack for fashion, I tell you. I used to wear scruffy old rags, but she helped me pick the right dress for my bosom. Ever since, people have certainly taken notice. It's a great loss for us all that she's gone. Please accept our condolences and this small gift. Oh, a couple of supplies. Well, I appreciate it because my supplies at the moment are dwindling quite heavily. So, yeah. A whole village is in mourning, Your Grace. We've heard many, many good things about Princess Lusulia. I even experienced her good heart once myself. We met at the market. She was not only polite, but she left us an extra coin, too. We're so sorry to hear she's gone, Your Grace. Here, take this. Four gold. Oh, okay. Well, uh, every little helps. I, I very much appreciate that. Absolutely. It's a shame, Your Grace. I once met the princess out in the field. My cart got stuck in the mud, as is always the case around here. She had her horse lessons, and instead of just passing by, she stopped and helped us push the cart with her guard. She was so young, she didn't deserve to go. Certainly not like this. Ugh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be mentioning it. I don't deal well with these things. Um, here, just take this. Okay, and they give us some more supplies. That's actually really nice of them, because they don't have to do that. They're... They're poor themselves, you know, they really don't have to do that, but as I say, it's very much appreciated. It's a great loss for all of us, Your Grace. I once bumped into Princess Lorsulia in the halls when I was seeking an audience from you. I got scared she would have ha she would have my head, but instead she said there's nothing to worry about and wish me a nice day. I brought you a little something. It won't bring your daughter back, but perhaps it will brighten your day a little bit. All right, four gold. And we have another peasant here as well. So sorry to hear about the princess, your grace. I'm Losulia's friend. We often walked the gardens together. When the boy I was courting broke my heart, I cried for days. Princess Losulia was kind, and she always sent me silly little letters to cheer me up. She helped me get through a tough time, and I found myself a man for life at last. I hope your family will finally get some rest once all of this is over. Here's a gift for you. And some more gold. Okay, that's actually not, not entirely bad. On a, on a resources standpoint, we actually did pretty well there. And I, of course, do appreciate the sentiment from all of those people. And they were actually not asking me for anything, as you can see right there. That's pretty crazy. Uh, it's pretty crazy nice of them. Okay, so uh, how are we doing about the battle preparations? Can our castle defend us? It looks like we've done all we can to protect the... I mean, uh, it looks like we've done all we can. It's difficult to tell which Atana will arrive with. It will definitely be a difficult battle. All right. So, yeah, uh, I guess I, th I think we're fine. Uh, yeah, I think we're all good, I think, right? Can't really, uh, nothing, nothing else to really be done here. What about the map? Uh, yeah, okay, so let's just have a look at our allies. No, Noxie is not going to help us with the Basilisk Egg, as we have seen. Uh, nothing really happens with him. I would like to be able to, I mean, that's the thing. I really wish I could, but if we don't get a Basilisk Egg, I assume the ritual is going to fail. So, there's not much I can do about it, unfortunately. I wish there was a way. Maybe I can invite him, and then maybe we'll see if uh, something happens. But I don't have much hope, really. I don't have much hope for that. So, uh, oh, wait a minute. I need to send the hunter for this. There we go. All right. All right, next week it is.
All right, so we've got 70 gold, 46 supplies. No, I'm, I'm not really going to... Should I uh, take away? Can I ta I can't take any away. Of course I can't. Okay, well, that's absolutely fine. I guess I'm just going to leave the supplies the way they are. Five weeks to go. This is pretty good, I guess. Grevno, week 46. All right, so we have all of our people coming back. Noxy is, is once again here. I don't know. Uh, that's the thing. I don't have anything that I can actually say to him. So there's not really much to do. Peasants use this water to cook, drink, and wash. They have no other access to water unless they walk for four hours past the other village. That's terrible news. But at least we know what is causing the problem. Thank you. Oh, okay. So she found out what the problem is, at least. Okay, yeah, so, so let's have a look at Noxy here. See, as you can see, there's nothing I can do. Absolutely nothing I can do. If I could ask him for help and... Yeah. It's because I made that uh, that choice earlier on in the series. Oh, there's a merchant. He might sell us a basilisk egg. Okay. Your grace, our village has been flooded. Again? Our huts have been destroyed. Some barns went down in the river. We lost many animals. We believe there is something living in the stream. Something that makes it flood and destroy our homes. What do you know about this creature? As I suspected, there is a water sprite in our river. For sure. He has been harassing us for a while. At first it wasn't that bad. Then it got worse. We started to make sacrifices to him. What? Only of animals, your grace? Don't worry. Um, chickens, cats, a dog, and even a sheep once. Did that help? No. But now we have a much better idea that will work for sure. We need a cow, your grace. A cow to sacrifice by the river. What monster would not be satisfied with an offering this large? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to help you. I think you are being kind of silly. I don't have a cow I can give you, and I'm not going to give you any gold or even my witch or anything like that, because I personally feel like we are going to need that. We will sacrifice Andre's daughter instead. That has to work. Uh, yeah, okay, if you want to do that, then go for it. But uh, I can't do I can't do that. Will you join my army? You didn't believe me when I came for help with my family casket. I was, because I was curious what's inside. I didn't want to die. Like Uncle Waklav, the casket was holding some sort of curse. And it took my eyesight. I have learned to rely on my hearing, but I certainly cannot fight. Yep. Well, as I suspected. Alright. Hello, Your Grace. You have called for me. Alright. Will, will you join? Will you join? You helped me get me and my wife back together. We have never been happier, Your Grace. She makes me want to do my best. You can count on us. Or gather other villages too. Okay, well that's that sounds nice. Okay, hello soldier. Your grace, we found those fleeing soldiers from the Radovian army. We've got them chained up at the castle wall. You should come and deal with them. And we'll come as soon as I'm ready. Oh, that's good. I must remind you, your grace, that your decision will impact the deals we have made with King Fabian and King Yedrick. Yes, I, I thank you, Audrey. And the merchant? I don't sell your typical wares. Ah, he might sell a basilisk egg. Yes, I think he does. I bring you the most exotic assortment of goods. Werewolf's fur, siren scales. I don't lie. See for yourself. Everything is five gold apiece. Wow, this is really cheap. Okay, let me see your other items. Do you have a basilisk egg? Yes, you do. Give me that. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Wonderful. Do I need anything else? Do I need anything else? I don't think so. I don't think I need any of these things. Uh, but I'm wondering whether I should buy them anyway, just because I have the money. But I kind of don't want to, just in case I actually need cash. So I have already bought the basilisk egg. I can't see it in my inventory here, but I did buy it. So that is it. Thank you, Merchant. That's all for now. Worry not, I will visit you again in three weeks in case you require something else. Ah, see, there you go. So the game is just like, okay, if you miss out on buying the basilisk egg this time, then maybe you'll be able to buy it in three weeks' time. That's actually really, really cool of them. And is a little bit more forgiving than I anticipated. So I, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go into the bedchamber to tell Aurelia that we are doing a little bit better in regards to our, uh, our ritual here. Uh, I have the basilisk egg. Why do we even need basilisk eggs? I think Delilah said they were going to be gifts for the spirits. Where can I get them? Probably from a merchant. Yeah, I actually... What? How many do I need? Do I need two? Wait. Wait. Two betony oils. I have two, right? Mugwort oil. No! Two basilisk eggs! Oh, 
Yeah. Two. Ugh, I thought I only needed one. Oh, stupid me. Okay, well, let's deal with this. They're responsible for killing our brothers on the battlefield. We should have no mercy for the enemy. Let them taste our steel. They hadn't enough honor to fight till the end. They fled like cowards instead of facing their fate. Well, we have them now, and we can show them our justice. I really just need to do what's right for the kingdom here. Each king will know if I go against them and will refuse their support accordingly. Let them go. These men only followed orders. Our land has seen enough of death. Your grace, but how? Boo. Death to the barbaric scum. You led their people into our home. They eat our food, they walk our roads, hunt in our forests. Maybe give them our wives and children next. We want revenge for our husbands, sons and brothers who died in battle against their foreign tricks. My children can't sleep at night. They're scared the men dressed in black with monsters on their chests will come. They are not our enemies. We need to focus on what's in front of us and not get stuck in the past. Boo, this is not fair. The king has reached his decision. These men will walk free. Thank you, your grace. We'll make sure you get something for your trouble. Well, I'm going to get a thousand troops, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, everyone hates me now, as you can see right there. Yeah, losing a whole bunch of relation, but that is to be expected. No problem at all. I don't have a problem with that. And, uh, yeah, we're going to... Well, as we've seen, uh, we don't need Noxy to get the Basilisk Egg, and uh, I am going to need to buy another one from the merchant in three weeks. So let's be aware of that, shall we? Okay, so I'm just going to send everyone that I can off to these various places. There we go, and we will then go to the next week. Ah, stupid me, stupid. Should have definitely... Oh, no, the King's Summit. Oh, no, I really did not want the King's Summit right now. These guys... Oh, let's keep it short. <laughs> Can I say that? No, I can't say that. I need some of their help, so I need to say welcome. Welcome. I have gathered you here. Ah, thank you. Ah, thanks very much. This is the guy that's uh, kind of... Eh, not so not so nice. Yes, yes, we all know why we're here. Let's skip all this trouble. I aided the Rodovians when they came asking for help. Forgive me, Edric. I had no heart to do otherwise. My soldiers tracked down Rodovians who fled the battlefields. I had to let them go. When I looked at them, I saw fear. I saw despair. They knew they'd lost. They were in an unknown land, far from home. They were kids, not much older than your boys, Yedrick. They didn't fight to conquer, they fought to survive. They didn't have heart to take their lives. My men also brought me their king. He was beaten so badly he could hardly move, defenseless and broken. He explained to me why the Rodovians are here. Life isn't easy for them, just as it isn't easy for us. He's a father just trying to defend what's dear to him that he has left. I spared his life that day. I have made my decisions, all of which I am ready to face the consequences of. So I leave this last decision to you two. Will you help me repel Atana from my gates? You saved many lives, Eric. I know it was a tough choice, but we will all gain from it. The fact that you save them all gives me hope for our future. It brings joy to my heart that there are good men amongst us, willing to stop and listen, try to understand other people. I don't have any doubt that by giving you my armies, I will be on the side of the just. You have my full support. Side of the just. <laughs> You're joining a dead man, Fabian. Five weeks from now, and you'll both be eating dirt. I won't give the Redovians any slack. I'll make sure my borders are strongly enforced. Damn you, Eric. Did you have to listen to this namby-pamby righteous bumpkin? Bun Bunkum, even? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you can just, you know, toddle off wherever you want to go then, Yedrick. All right, so we've got 57 supplies. Do I want to do anything with these supplies? Do I want to shore up things a little bit more? Yeah, why not? Let's get 210. That's that's a nice little, uh, uh, what, what is that, seven? Yeah, seven barrels full of stuff. I think that's perfectly fine. Do I need more? I don't think I need more. So let's just continue onward. Grevno, week 47. All right, so we're just going to speak to our general here, told the villagers that they're, that they're all coming over here, which is great. 
Very nice. And, okay. Ah, the village upstream is throwing their waste into the water, and then we drink that water. No wonder everyone is sick. We try talking to the people in that village, but they won't listen. They don't care because they have clean water. Your grace, please. You need to help us. Ah, uh, I need five gold for the extra basilisk egg and for any other potential costs. So I have 61, technically. So then if I spend 20 gold on this, that's going to be 41. And then I should still have enough for any potential unforeseen costs. So I'm going to build the well. I have a feeling the villagers are going to keep throwing waste into the river regardless of what I say. Take this gold, build a well that connects to a different water source. Thank you, Your Grace. I knew you could come up with a smart solution. Now we'll have our own water source and we won't have to worry about the neighboring villages. Okay, that sounds good to me. Your Grace, how can I help? Will you join me? We will help. We owe you this. You helped us after our granary was destroyed by the mudslide. We've built a new one and it's better than any granary in Grevno. It's surely worth protecting. Okay, three weeks to go. What is it that you wanted, Your Grace? Will you join my army? You have rebuilt our homes after the floods, and they are even stronger than before. I don't think we could get better houses anywhere else. We'll stand by you in the battle. We want to protect our lands. All right, be ready. You have called for me. How can I help? Will you join my army? Sure thing, Your Grace. Your hunter dealt with those Baltis. Showed my wife I wasn't lying. You can count on me and my friends, Your Grace. There we go. And Asali is here, and then we have two other peasants. Okay, let's see. Father, can you please see me in the gardens when you have a little while? What is it? Please just come to the gardens, I will explain. Alright. Our pastor is sick. He's had a high fever for days. We don't know what to do, Your Grace. We have no one else that can do our weekly reading. The gods are going to send us all to hell if we don't hold our mass. We are afraid of what's going to happen if the fever takes him for good. Please help us, Your Grace. Right. Uh, I don't have enough gold to do this. Uh, because, as I said, if I have something else that is going to crop up, I don't want to have literally like 21 gold. You know, that's just not enough in my opinion. So I'm, I'm not going to send anyone because I need the witch to go off and ask villages for support. So I'm going to say I can't help, unfortunately. Our resources are scarce. Only the worthy can connect with the gods. I'm sure you can figure something out. May the gods have you and your pastor in their favor. We'll hope for the best. I don't know what else we can do. Unfortunately, it's, I'm going to lose some, some happiness here, but that is to be expected. I just can't do much. I hear you give supplies for making Mazana. Can I have some for Branca? You can, no, you can't. <laughs> I've used up all of my spare supplies for this event. You should have come earlier. What? Some king you are. Helping some, but not others. <laughs> uh, I should have just literally not helped anyone, to be fair. That's probably what would have been the best course of action, to, to be honest. But otherwise, uh, yeah, okay. Let's continue onward and go and see Asalia. And do I need to go and see anyone else? No, it doesn't look like it. But this is a uh, an important conversation according to the icon. Yes, father? You wanted to see me? What's going on, Asalia? I'm leaving, father. Me and Maya are going to travel the world. She already has seen half of it, and she wants to see the other half with me. You're too young to leave. You let Norsulia marry Ivo, a royal prince. How did that end for her? Asalia, that's not fair. I don't want the same fate. How is my way of life worse than being stuck with a monster? Norsulia didn't get to choose, and she wasn't happy. If this decision isn't going to end well for me, then at least I will die satisfied knowing it was my decision. I thought maybe Maya was born on the wrong side of the mountains, but now I realize it was me who was born on the wrong side of the castle walls. This life is not for me. It is not who I am. You know more than anyone, father, that I'm not suited to castle life. I don't want to follow rules. I don't want to attend banquets or wear puffy dresses. I want to ride a horse, see the world, and explore beyond these walls. Maya helped see me what I can do. Help me see what I can do, even. I can be what I want in life. Father, please, don't close me in these walls. I have to go, Father. Maya is waiting with the horses outside the castle. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do. You know what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, go on. Because... Who am I Who am I to say? You know? I, I personally feel like her happiness means more than... I mean, everyone's happiness in, in regards to you know, our daughters and things. That's exactly the reason why I'm really kicking myself about the whole Osulia thing. But the thing is, is that I don't know whether I could have stopped that. You know, might have been scripted. But anyway, go on then, As. Make sure you say goodbye to your mother. It would break her heart if you didn't. And also, don't forget to send a letter to your father sometimes. At least let the writing lessons not go to waste. I will, father. Thank you. Hug Sadani for me, and... 
Stay safe. Well, I'll try my best. I'm sure she's going to become an absolutely fantastic adventurer or something along those lines. Okay, so let's go to the council chamber and tell Sadani what's happened with Asalia. I bring some bad news, Sadani. Your sister left the castle. She's going to travel the world with Maya. Why would she leave me? First Luli, now Asalia? Why is everyone leaving me? I'm not leaving you. I'll never leave you. It's not your fault, Sadani. Asalia just wanted to see what else is out there. We will miss her a lot, but she promised she will visit us. Fine, father. Just promise you'll never leave me. I promise, Pumpkin. I will never leave you. Alright. Okay, so we've t we've told Sadani at least. And... Uh, should, I, should I pet the bear? Is the bear gonna gonna go bite? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's he's still giving me a growl. He's still giving me a growl. Well, that's fine. It's absolutely fine. All right. Let's go and speak to Aurelia. I I would assume that Asali has already told her that she's leaving. Okay. Asalia left. She ran away with Maya. I just spoke to her. I don't know how you could just let her leave. She's so young. How is she going to manage without us? Where is she going to sleep? What is she going to eat? I don't know what I'd do out there by myself, let alone a young girl like her. It's what she wanted. She's a smart girl. You know she hated it here. And she would never be happy marrying some prince or a king. I just wanted her to be happy. Aren't you worried about her? Of course I am. But keeping her here just because I'm worried would be very selfish. She knows where we are if she needs us. Besides, she's with Maya. That makes me feel better. I never thought things would turn out this way. I know, sweetheart. Me neither. All right. Yeah, I never thought that I'd forget about this second basilisk egg either. Ugh. Idiot, uh, aren't I? Hmm. All right. Well, it's time for us to send off some more people. Uh, Jarrison the village. Let's send, let's send them off there, and send another another witch over there, and send the hunter off there. All right. So we technically can't go to every single village. Uh, we got what two more weeks, three more weeks, or something like that. So we might be able to do another six. And then we have two left, so I don't think that's too bad, personally. Uh, we've probably got the maximum that we can get, with the exception of obviously helping the people, because obviously sometimes I just wasn't able to help. But uh, let's see, any more allies? Nope, no more allies. All right, pretty happy with how we're going so far. Okay, so I've got 47 supplies, 47 gold. Uh, should I... I don't really want to spend more resources... Do I? Do I wanna do I wanna save more resources? I don't think so. I don't think it's really necessary, is it? Is it more is it necessary to go for this? Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Three weeks still to go. Maybe we can make a decision a little bit later on anyway. Grevna, week forty-eight. Alright, well, that's gonna be it for this episode. We have uh, gone quite long in this one. And uh, I, I'm just getting really excited. You know, I'm getting really excited about what's going to happen and everything. Who's that? Is that a merchant? No, that's not a merchant. Okay, there's a soldier there, so we might have something else to do there too. But otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.